Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to do sliding UI elements, but we're going to do it slightly differently than usual. Now, I have seen on numerous tutorials, including some of my own, people using sliders for this sliding mechanic. And it does kind of make sense because we have a value in there that when we amend it, our uh, image, a uh, slidable image, moves to the left and to the right. So why wouldn't you use it? But that also adds in a few extra things that you need to do. For example, we'll need to uncheck the interactable toggle because we don't want our players to be able to slide it left and right. We also need to get rid of the handle. And then by getting rid of the handle, we need to take into consideration that little bit of buffer space that we get whenever we just have that raw slider. Now, the way that I'm going to show you in this video is quite similar in respect to we have a slider value that goes from 0 to 1 that we can fill our UI image with. So the end result is going to look something like this. It's going to look very familiar to a lot of you. So I have a way to deduct and add some of the value to this bar. Really simple stuff, so let's just get into it. So let's start by showing you what I've got. All I have, two images, which are just some sprites, which are for the outline and the fill value of our UI element. These were created in A sprite, and as you can see, they are 30 by 5 pixels for the outline. And on a separate image, we have just the bog standard rectangle for the fill, which is 28 by 3. Now, this fill will fit exactly into the center of our outline. Now that is exactly what we want. I've also gone ahead and added in some uh, transparent or semi-transparent elements here. I've just got a line there for a shadow and a line for a highlight. That's just a bit of an aesthetic choice just to show you that you can do any design that you like in here. So let's pop over to Unity and we'll start setting this up. The first thing that we've got to do for both of our bar fill and bar outline we want to set our pixels per unit. Now I'm doing this because it's a pixel art piece. I've said it in other videos. This I prefer to have as my base pixel size for the piece, which is often 16. So I've gone for 16 in this instance. We want our filter mode to be point no filter. Again, that just keeps the edges of the pixel art crisp. And also I've set compression to none because by doing so, we won't get any weird artifacts and discoloration of our sprites. So let's just start putting all this together. So we're going to need a canvas, because this is going to be UI. And then inside that, we'll create an empty game object that we'll call health bar. Doesn't have to be anything in there, we just want to keep everything together. So inside of that is where we're going to put both of our elements. So first of all, we're going to want to add in an image and this will be our outline. So we can drag and drop our outline into the sprite and we'll set the native aspect ratio just to keep everything nice and tidy and we'll just increase the scale so we can see what we're doing here. Now that's all we need to do for the outline. Next we'll add in one more image. This will be the fill value. So we'll drag our fill bar in there. We'll set that native aspect ratio and again scale it up to match the outline so that's 3 by 3 by 3. And then we'll just drag this fill on top of our outline so it actually appears underneath and now we can see that we've got a nice little shadow going on. And to make this fill bar actually replicate what we usually have as a slider all we need to do is we come over to the image type and we'll set it to filled. Now we get quite a lot of options here. By default, we come in at, at radial 360, and I'll show you what this does. So if we drag our fill amount down from one, we can see that in a 360 degree circle, our image hides and displays, which for some instances is extremely useful. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go for the bog standard horizontal movement. We'll have our fill origin as the left side, and now when we drag our fill amount, we can see that it looks exactly like the slider does with no extra setting up. So how do we go about putting this in script? Well, let's go as generic as possible here. We'll create a C sharp script and we'll call it UI fill. And we'll open this up in Visual Studio. 
So just for testing purposes, we're going to keep a start and update this time for once. And we're going to need one more namespace, which is going to be using unityengine.ui, just so we can get access to our image class. So we're only going to need three parameters in this class. We'll need a public int max value, which is going to be the maximum value when a health bar or whatever bar this is, is at its maximum value. Next, we're going to need a public image, which is going to be the fill. That's going to be the reference to our fill layer. And finally, a private int current value. So that's going to be the current value at any given moment in time. So we'll just do a little bit of setting up in our start. We can set current value equal to the max value from the start. Next, we'll set the fill dot fill amount equal to one, because fill amount is a normalized value between zero and one. So we want this to be at its max value whenever we start. Next, we're gonna need two methods, one for adding a value to our current value and one for deducting. So we'll just create these as public void add, and these will take in an integer, and another public void deduct, and again, it'll take in an integer. Now, these are going to be pretty much the same, apart from a few operator differences. So if we're going to add a value to it, we want to set current value plus equals to whatever value we've put in. And then we'll just do a quick sanity check. So if current value is greater than our max value, then current value is equal to max value. So we can't go past it. Finally, we'll set our image's fill amount based on our current value compared to our max value. So like I said before, we need to normalize this between a value of zero and one. Now this is really easy to do. So we can do fill dot fill amount is equal to, and we'll make sure that we cast this to a float because our fill amount is expecting a float value. And all we need to do is divide our current value by our max value. So that'll return a float value between 0 and 1 as a comparison between our current and our max value. And we can go ahead and copy that into our deduct, but this time we'll change this to minus equals to. If this is less than 0, then we want current value to be 0, so we can't go into a negative value and then we'll pop out the fill amount. Now, just so we can test this, what I'm gonna go and do, I'm gonna put in my update a couple of basic input statements. So we can check if down keycode.a, we'll call add with 10. And similarly, we'll call down keycode.d, and we'll call deduct and we'll pass in three on the deduct so now that should be our script completed so we pop back over into unity on our health bar parent object we can drag in ui fill we'll give it a max value of 100 and we'll drag in our fill layer into our fill image and now we should just be able to click play and if we press d we can see that we start deducting from our health bar and then A starts adding to it. And also because we've actually created our fill bar as white, what we can go ahead and do, we can go and change the color of our image to a nice green color. So it's just that simple. And I've gone ahead and I've created a couple of other assets just to show you how easy it is to set up another one of these once you've already done it. And just to show you that these can come in any shape or size. So I'll create another game object. I'll call this heart, and I'll just move this up out of the way a little bit. And again, what we want in here is an image, again called outline. And in my other folder, I have an outline of a heart. We can scale that up again. And then again, just like before, UI image fill. We'll drag fill above outline and drag in our heart fill. Scale that up to match. I didn't set native aspect ratio. Never mind. I didn't do it for the outline either, did I? Set native aspect ratio. There we go. Always remember to click that set native aspect ratio 
just because you'll get those odd sizing and a bit of stretching. So now that we have that set up, I can click on my hurt parent object, drag in UI fill, drag the fill in and give it a maximum of 50 for example. And then finally what we need to do, we need to add in our filled vertical this time, origin bottom. And now when we play the game, we should be able to see this works just as well as the health bar. So we can deduct, and it does, we see it going down, and then we can add again. So this was a very quick and very simple tutorial. I hope this shows you just how easy it is to actually have this sliding effect inside your games without having to rely on the slider component, because it can get a little bit messy when you're trying to fix all that together. I'd just like to thank GT3000 for his continued support over on Patreon. If you're enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, find a link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more bite-sized Unity hints and tips.